I'm going to take you on a special journey this morning. It's Saturday morning, April, and I have a customer in Rye, and it's the crack of dawn, it's not quite light. I'm gonna take you on one of the most amazing trips through the cobbled streets of Rye, the ancient port town, the sunk port town, one of the five most important ports on the south coast. And we're going up Mermaid Street now, and it's a cobbled street. And every one of these properties are ancient, quite extraordinary. And you can't, can you imagine the noise a horse and cart would make going up here? And the clip clop of the hooves on the cobbles. And it's impossible to park in Rye. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. Rye is like a little Belgian bun on the flat land. On the left is the Mermaid, one of the most famous pubs in the world, the Mermaid Inn. And when we stayed there, um, they told us it was haunted by 11 ghosts. Uh, and I slept like a log, <laughs> so that's no problem. And we just going into West Street. I'm gonna turn right now. Can you see how narrow this is? It's just extraordinary. And this is where Henry James wrote some of his fantastic stories. He's, he lived on the right here, I think from about 1898, something like that. And as we come up to the church at the top, we've stayed right opposite the church. You can just see all the buildings are crooked, just extraordinary. And the, the night that we stayed there, um, we thought kids were letting off fireworks, but actually when we looked out the window, it was all people our age uh, messing around like teenagers. But here we go, we're just going one most amazing, beautiful property after another. It's St Anthony's on the right, Tudor Wood. Oh, paper girl. And I mean, we're not driving we're driving about five miles an hour and it might be quite shaky the video because because of these cobbles but the cobbles made from Sussex flint are fantastically hard wearing that's the church wall on the left and as we come up to the end of the road here we're on to the castle on the right but you're not going to be able to see that but I'll tell you it's there anyway Quite extraordinary and we're right on a high plateau now you don't realize but we're right up if if I can see any view actually I'll just turn around to the right you can just see it a little bit you can just see what's remains of the castle and that's now a museum but behind that you have about a mile of flat land and yet once this was on the seashore the water lapped up to that uh, to the base of that castle. But look at these amazing properties. There's no other place on earth that you're going to see such a fantastic mix of architecture. There's not two houses the same. All little quaint little rooms, tiny, bang your head on them as you walk in. And amazingly enough, what we've just come up isn't one way. A car could come the other way. We're coming onto a one-way system now. This is slightly more modern. Here's one of my favourite shops right in front of us, Simon the Pieman. That, um, and on the left, the church, it has a, a, a little motto above it saying, time, time waiteth for no man. But have you ever seen such fantastic little place as Rye? Quite possibly, besides Lewis and Winchelsea, my favourite places on planet Earth. And now we're coming down into the main shopping street. We're right opposite the old grammar school. Got to watch out now because we can bump into a, all the delivery vans are out delivering for the morning. And you can walk both sides of Rye. You could stand on one side of Rye with a catapult and shoot a stone and it would land on the other side. It is that small. It's not, it's not a, a 15 minute walk from one side to the other but in about 20 minutes, I've got to go and do a load of industrial machines. But I just thought I'd show you this. This is, we've gone in a complete circle and we're coming back to exactly the same place that we've started. 
down these tiny little roads and I hope you enjoyed it because it is a unique and extraordinary sight. And I hope I've driven slow enough. Lucky enough, nobody's bothered to get up so I haven't had a single car following me. Well, that's it folks. Rye on a wet spring morning and we're now back to the fish market and that's it. I'm gonna go down, we're gonna go down and find ourselves a cafe now and have some breakfast. Bye for now.